All right, what is going on, everybody? So we have another movie review for you all. We have The Rundown, or as it's called in other countries, Welcome to the Jungle. So this is directed by Peter Berg, and it stars Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock. You know, I will always call him The Rock. I don't... That's probably the only time I really call him Dwayne Johnson out of who knows how many times. I grew up watching the man wrestle. He's my favorite wrestler of all time. I mean, you know, if I see him now, it was always The Rock. So, yeah, we got The Rock. We got Sean William Scott from the American Pie films. Funny actor. We got Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken, to me, outside of The Rock, he made this movie, man. He, he was a perfect addition for this freaking movie, man. The, the, the tone in which he talks, the, the slow talking, uh, the slow acting. I shouldn't say snit. Well, the way he acts is just fantastic. He's uh He did great in this film. And then we got Rosario Dawson. I didn't know that she was with 50 Cent in the 90s. But uh, Rosario Dawson, the first movie, this is the first movie I've seen her in because I've seen this movie many times before. But... Bro, we got a, a young Rosario Dawson, a.k.a. As What's her name? Osoka or something? Osoka. And she's also in the, the, the Daredevil TV show. She's been in a bunch of stuff. But she's in here as well. And those are pretty much the main stars. So, uh, yeah, man. So let me get into the this review. This is not the spoiler. Well, again, with these spoilers, is it really a spoiler if it came out 20 years ago? But I'm going to just go off the top with this. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we have The Rock. <laughs> we we have The Rock, <clears throat> who was a bounty hunter. We see him at the beginning of the movie. He's at a club. He's coming to collect a ring from a football team, a professional, basically. So they started laughing. The Rock punches the camera. Apparently, they took option B. So then we have the end, man, where this, we got Hatcher against The Rock. <laughs> or the Hatcher, well, Hatcher and his small army against The Rock and Sean William Scott, right? And you have Bulls, you got Declan, the guy that brought him there, the Irish guy. Um, so this is where we get to the end scene, man. The Rock proceeds to beat the living hell out of this small army. He is not using guns. He's actually using the guns as a weapon. He's beating them up with the guns. He's not using them at all to, like, shoot and kill him. But Sean William Scott, man, he's up there fighting them and whatnot, you know, until you get to the scene in which they're shooting at his bus. So it's like, oh, man, he's screaming for help. He's screaming for help until The Rock has these two shotguns in his hand. And he's thinking to himself, like, oh, man, I got to use these guns. Yeah, I got to save him because, again, he doesn't like using guns because if he does, bad things will happen to people. And sure enough, bad things did happen to people. And The Rock was proceeding to just shooting them all. I mean, he was picking them all apart. He even had a he even had two shotguns and shot two uh, two people at the same time. Two shotguns loaded it up and whatnot. So, end of the day, man, they eventually, you know, killed most of the people in the town. You know, you got Sean William Scott going after, or I keep saying they were, um. You got Travis going after Mariana and the Gato retrieves him. You got The Rock going up against the, uh, he kills majority of the, the army, right? And then you got the three dudes with the whips. You know, he beats them up and you get Hatcher. So he's just left out there with a whole crowd and sooner or later he dies, you know. But he did great, man. But that's pretty much it for that town, man. So and that, that end scene, that end scene was the best part of the movie. But I thought it was a great movie, man. But they get back to L.A. And The Rock, <clears throat> well, uh, Beck and Travis meets up with uh, Travis's dad, uh, Billy. And $250,000, he got his restaurant. He's done with the bounty hunting game. Before he left, The Rock made sure to give Billy and what The Rock took from Brazil he took the Calabos. And he told Billy about it. It's like it was a ritual or whatnot. So basically faked it. And then he um, took Travis as well. So he confused Billy and his two goons and took Travis. And that was it, man. So, yeah, man, I've seen this movie plenty of times. I thought it was a... Even then, I thought it was a great movie. Now I think it's a great movie. To me, it's a top five rock movie of all time. Um, like, I really liked it. 
So, and you know, who cares what other people think? Everybody's going to have different opinions. If you like this movie, if you like that movie, it don't matter as long as you liked it. So, it is what it is. I like the movie. So, many people would say this movie sucked, but I don't know. They're probably rock haters or whatnot. Go watch a Stone Cold movie. But, <clears throat> anyway, man, uh, and this made the budget was 85. Well, gee, it didn't even do good. Screw it. I liked it. It did $85 million at the budget. That was the budget, but it made eighty point nine million in the box office. So, I guess what is that considered a failure, right? But anyway, it is what it is. But let me know what you think about it uh, in the comments. Did you all see it? Uh, what other movies do you want me to react to? Because if you don't, I'm just keep watching movies and you know or reviewing them. So it is what it is, man. But uh, I will catch you all later. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I also want to say is that uh, this movie, this is where my channel name is based off of half of it, Rundown Productions, The Rundown. That's I, I got it from this movie right here. So, yeah, that's why one reason why I wanted to react, uh, review it. So, yeah.